I got it here, hammer on the next level, one of a kind for sure. First of all, looks like a regular hammer, but no. On the bottom of it, there is a neodymium magnet, so that way you stick a nail in and first hit, you don't even have to hold your nail with your fingers and keep hitting your fingers. You just stick a nail in, hit it, then finish it off. Well, that's awesome. A lot of hammers are like that. But this hammer went step ahead. Your regular axe is like that. So that's only way you can use it as a crowbar. This one, you can completely unfold it all the way around and actually have a crowbar. And you can readjust it on any position that you're comfortable in. I have a pallet, I need to break it up before I burn it. Let's go try it out. Okay guys, there goes nothing. You see how comfortable that is? And the hammer is actually a leverage by itself. You see, I'm using the hammer to lift it all up. Looks like on that side, it's already been done. Let's do it a little bit further. So you just slide it in. And pull it out. Pull the nail all the way out. The oh, nail is so rusted, it came off. And you see how I cannot get to this nail? Let's try to adjust it and get to this nail a lot easier. Oh, can I get to this nail? Adjust it. And now you don't have to go around it. These nails are so rusted though, you cannot pull them. There you go. You see what I'm talking about? I don't have to readjust my hand all the way out this way. So this is why it's a lot easier. Right here, a bunch of nails. Put it in. <laughs> that pallet is falling apart. But makes sense, right? Probably gonna do it on regular. Adjust it all the way out. That way you don't even have to move your hand all the way down. You see what I'm talking about? You have more leverage. <laughs> this nail is so old, it's folded. Oh well. Couple of nails right here. Let's do them close up. You see what I'm talking about? Nice. One more. Ha! You got folded because it's just such an old nail. And there is the magnet right here. You can put any kind of nail. You want to put it all the way to the back. But as you can see, it does stick. Smaller nail right here, no problem. And a much, much bigger one. Let's go nail something in. And for example, as you can see, the nail sitting really good right here. And all we have to do is just hit it with the, oops. Okay, for example, as you can see, it's holding. Now all I have to do, never mind, maybe it doesn't work with the big nails. Let's do a little bit smaller nail. Okay, this one works much better. Pretty good hammer, kind of hard to use a hammer and film at the same time, but almost no effort. Pretty awesome, look at that. Power. Time to learn how to hit it so it gets stuck, does not fly out. With a bigger nail, it's a little bit harder. Easy to put it in, okay. I guess you don't have to even hit it hard, you just kind of put it in. And it goes in. Okay, one more time, let's see. Oh, nice. Get it going, and then you can just get it much, much harder. And you don't have to worry about hitting your fingers. You saw I missed a couple of times. Put the nail in, holds it really good. Look at that, that's beautiful. Okay, put it in. That big nail don't work as much. You gotta be a little bit careful. I thought you can just smash it. You gotta put it in carefully, kind of. But yeah, pretty awesome hammer over here, for sure. I got it here, pretty cool drill attachment. Let's see how this works and what kind of drills it takes. This thing always go viral on Facebook. Let's start with this one. You just put it in and twist it up. You flip this over, put it upside down like that. Goes into one of these holes and then twist it up together. 
So that's actually very easy to put it on and off. Let's try to twist this one a little bit. There you go. Make it straighter. So you got your super powerful, uh, what do you call it, cutters. And look at that, it's cutting. You can go much faster. A bit, let's try to use it to cut the wire. Super easy as you can see. So, could be very nice wire cutter set here. Look at that, one more piece over here. Chopped it off completely. Look at that. Amazing. So yeah, so far cuts still wire easy. Okay, let's try to cut this metal. Not the best job ever, but there you go. Let's try to cut it straight. It's really hard to turn. And then I think the best thing to do is cut the flat pieces. Because you see it's really hard to turn and cut off a piece. Okay, that one was much much straighter. Yeah, let's try to cut off a piece right here. Okay, that was kind of crazy fast. Okay, one more. I don't think I would go fast because if you want to follow love the line, but let's see the durability there. Wow, this is much thicker and it cuts through easily. This is right here, old camping stuff. Maybe that's a little bit too much for it. But this one, no problem. And it's very thick. Wow, that was a straight shot right here. And a thin piece of right here, like paper. Pretty cool little drill cutter. You used to have a regular drill, now you have a cutter. And I don't see any damage on it. Super powerful. I got it here, kindlingjug.com. This is the brand of this one. Pretty unique tool. And I like splitting kindling with this thing right here. You grab a little log right here. I'll show you close up and burn on top of it. So then you put one of this in here. Get a little hatchet. This one is highly, highly seasoned firewood, pretty good. Go waste one more time. Even four more ways for that beginning of the fire. Look at that. Gus does not like it. He's like, this is too ringy, too loud. But yeah, you guys keep asking me to film with my dogs, they go. Maybe I'll film like that. <laughs> I do need to make more videos on my pet channel. I will be. And look at that. You have here pretty good wood chips to start the fire with. Very nice right here. Load them up in one place. Look at that. Once you have this thing, I'll start it a little bit. I mean, this is amazing. It's so quick, it's satisfying. One more half, no problem, you can do that. But if you want to do it right away in four pieces, make it multiple a lot right away, you can do so. And look at that. Amazing. And even smaller, let's try it. We'll do the four more. It just splits it in four pieces instantly. Pretty awesome. One more time because it's so satisfying. This one stayed. 
goes one more time. You guys can see a hop. Get that out of the way. Splits it. Nice. Let's go start the fire now. Pretty awesome. So then what I do is just put this thing on top of the tarp to keep everything dry next to my fire. This is cool. This is the brand of it right here. Gus, what are you doing? What are they climbing to? <laughs> Gus, are you stuck or something in there? What are you doing? They're so weird. You can't feed there. What are you doing? Get out of there. Anyways. Got out here a very unique case with the epic tool. So let's open it and see what's inside. Boom. Check this out. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So looks like they give you gloves. You got right here a plug to your car. And this right here a little jack to lift your car up and it's electric jack so that way you don't have to keep spinning it so we're gonna try to jack up my car right now so looks like we're gonna plug it in right here and twist it up very high quality wire side here for sure and there is on and off up and down there's two different mullets right here a taller one and a shorter one whatever this is screw it on like that super easily and, and this side here if you don't have one of these things, you can plug it in and connect it to your battery. Wow, this is so cool. I've never seen that before. So we're going to plug it in. Light indicator on. We got it right here on wire. And let's try to turn it on. Light indicator on. Up. That is crazy. What do you guys think? It's not going super fast, but it looks like a real jack. I like the attachment which is for the SUV, it's perfect. And then you can go press it down, it's gonna go back down. That is amazing. And there's a little pump, I guess. Let's try to jack up my car. This is just for example. Don't worry guys, I'm in park and everything. Oh wow, it's lifting my car pretty good. And I'm far away. I can hear Rocks cracking a little bit. Okay, and the tire is pretty much lifted. There is no pressure on it at all. You see this compared to this. Okay, looks like it smacks. Okay, and let's try to take it down. All I have to do is just press it and it's going to take it down. And you see right now it's going to actually go down a little bit faster, seems like. And that tire about to settle down. This is actually cool. You don't have to deal with annoying jack. You just plug it in, push it in. It's already will make your work a lot faster. Okay, I pulled it out. And now it's finishing it off. That's pretty awesome. What do you guys think? Definitely thumbs up for me. Did it get bent? That's what I want to find out on this gravel. nice no it didn't get bent at all very nice it looked like it got bent got a couple of scratches that's it amazing i really like that one a lot very unique axe over here this is the brand of it forest tools max company check this out plastic handle i mean i'm not really sure exactly what it's made from but something very different that most axes don't have is this little piece right here and it's also a piece of metal attached to actual mallet and a hammer amazing leather cover boom and there you go you have here a very very nice axe out here but what does this do that's what makes it special let's look at this close up well it comes with one of these pouches and let's see what we got here wow look at that shovel that's huge you know every time you buy stuff online you never know what you're going to get that's a lot bigger than those little folding shovels there's a bunch of clips we'll figure it out well four i think it's extra 
a little peek for the digging. There is a lot of tools, wow. What is this? I have no idea, I guess another peak to dig into the dirt. Okay, what else in here? Something else and another peak. Yeah, this one is a little wider, this one is a thinner. I don't know, maybe you get on the rock, you'll have to pick it out. Whoa, what is this? Seems like a rake. Anyways, I don't think it came with the instructions. No, it did. Very nice. Okay, we're gonna start with the shovel. Put it all the way through. Looks like it's all the way. Let's set it down. And that's why they give us so many pins. Boom. And there you go. You have your shovel axe. How cool is that? Wow. That is so epic. Okay, let's say you wanna get a different tool. You got into the rock, you need to pick it out, or let's say it got oops, it got too hard to dig. You can get one of this and put it to put the pin to. And look at that. It is going to be a bit wiggly, but it doesn't matter. Whenever you're gonna be hitting on the ground, this will go inside so tight they probably stop wiggling. Plus, I don't think it would be an issue digging on the ground. What a cool tool, that's for sure. Okay, you wanna put something else in. There's a pick. Again, once it gets tight in there, it's gonna be really, really nice. So that is cool. This is almost like a fireman's axe. You know, you have the axe and a pick in the back to break through the door. That is awesome. Very long pick too. That's pretty much same thing but different, so I'm not gonna be showing you how it looks like. And this one, I'm pretty sure, supposed to go this way. Put this through and tighten it up. Wow, look at that. It's actually tightened pretty good. And you have a little rake here, but I think it's more so for the digging. Let me know in comments below, what would you use it for? And also, let's unspin it, take it out, pull this out, flip it around. Wow, nice. Put this in and then screw this, it will lift up that notch. And you have here another tool for the digging or whatever, use your imaginations. This is amazing, this is one of a kind multi-tool like I never seen before. So guys, you see who it's made from, if you're interested in buying one of them, just search it online, that's it. And when you take it all out, that axe looks nice, solid, beautiful. Probably would be a good splitting axe too. Oh yeah, it does say made in America. Pretty awesome. 